Hello data scientist welcome to Skillgate having a natural language processing or NLP project in your uh, data science portfolio makes your CV stand out but getting hold of a quality data set might come in your way well not anymore twitter is actually a great resource for getting text data as it has an API credentials are easy to acquire and there are a number of python libraries available to consume twitter's API like tweepy well, in this three-part series, we are going to perform sentiment analysis on live tweets duly pulled from Twitter and use it to tell whether people are happy about the new iPhone announcement or Americans are still missing their beloved President Donald Trump. Specifically in this first part, I'll teach you how to configure a Twitter developer account that allows you to pull 2 million tweets per month. In the upcoming parts, I'll introduce you to a Python library called Tweepy that enables uh, Python to communicate with Twitter platform and consume its API. And lastly, we shall perform sentiment analysis and visualizations on live tweets pulled from Twitter. Now, first thing first, let's get your Twitter developer account configured. All right, I am on twitter.com now. Having a Twitter account is a prerequisite to creating a Twitter developer account. So if you don't have an account, then you may create one at this point. I do have one, so I'll just sign in. Once we are here, I'll suggest you to add a phone number to your profile. These are again prerequisites for setting up a developer account. If you have done it already, still get this double checked following these steps. Click on more then click on settings and privacy and then go to your account and information you may need to provide your account password here to gain access all right now here we may add uh, a phone number let's do it first i'll add the phone number Provide the verification code that you received on phone. Now we are good to go for uh, setting up our uh, developer account. For this, I'll go to developer.twitter.com. Over here, click on developer portal. Here we need to fill these details. We are just exploring the API. You may go through these terms and conditions and accept. As an essential next step, you will need to verify your email. Once you complete the email verification, next up, you need to give a name to your app. In our case, we will call it Skillcade Project. Then we see these API keys. We don't need to save these keys at this point as we are going to regenerate them in a while once we have unlocked elevated access and configured read write access. To do that, let's jump on to the developer dashboard now. I'll say yes, I saved them. So as you may see here, with, with the current configuration, our Twitter developer account allows for pulling 500,000 tweets per month. But you may quickly exhaust this quota if you are working regularly with Twitter API. So to tackle that, we apply for an elevated access using these steps. Over here in this developer dashboard, click on project one. Now we need to apply for uh, elevated access. So let's apply. Let's fill in the details. In the current coding skill level, I'll say some experience. Next. 
Now under intended use, you need to give a short summary of uh, your specific use case of needing elevated access. I will fast forward through this part. To this last question for making uh, information available to a government entity, I'll say no. So we are good now. Over here we may review, I'll click next. Towards the end you may read and agree to these policy terms and click submit. At this point you would have unlocked your elevated access. Now go to dashboard. Under project 1 let's click on this key button. Now for access token and secret, let's generate the keys. Just say I saved them. No need to save at this point. The reason why we did not save those uh, token and secret was because by default, the access given is read only, but we need read and write access so that we can perform write operations like posting tweets, deleting tweets, following someone, unfollowing someone, liking a tweet, retweeting, etc. To make this change, go to settings. Under this user authentication setting, click on setup. Over here, uh, ignore this authentication 2.0, choose 1.0a. Under app permissions, uh, choose read and write. You may also choose uh, read, write and direct messages that allow us to also sort of exchange messages. For this, you may uh, type in uh, a dummy website something.com or uh, in my case i have uh, my website skillkit.com so i'll mention that then i'll click save now we go to dashboard keys and now we are all set to generate our keys this time and make a note of them This, by the way, is our Jupyter Notebook, where I'll be running you through the Python 3P library in the next part of the series. So for now, I'm just saving these keys here. And by the way, these keys and tokens, they are your personal belongings, should not be shared with anyone. I'm showing these to you for the sake of demonstration. And right after completing this tutorial, I'll be uh, resetting the keys again. Now, when we have successfully set up our Twitter API and retrieved the keys, let's do a quick test and see if we are able to pull tweets from Twitter. For doing this, first up, I'll add my Twitter API bearer token to the TweetP client over here. Then I'll uh, install TweetP and import it. As you may see over here, we are basically trying to pull some tweets with the hashtag Elon Musk. Let's see if we are in luck today. As you may see, we are indeed getting uh, the tweets. With this first tutorial, I hope you shall be able to set up your Twitter dev account. In case you face any issue, do post it in the comments and I'll be more than happy to resolve your uh, concerns. I'm already so excited about the next tutorial where uh, I'll give you a quick walkthrough to Python's 3P using this very Jupyter notebook explaining you the capabilities that 3P has. We post new machine learning projects every week. So do subscribe to our channel. Happy learning to you. Bye.